Just finished Unbelievable this morning. Uh, limited series on Netflix, and it is really good. It's really good. And I can't tell if it's actually like one of the best things I've ever seen, or if it's, I feel that way just because I just finished watching The Island, which was just a joke. Um, the Island makes Unbelievable look like it's the greatest thing ever written for TV. But it's, I promise you, it's really good. It's really good. The story's great, the writing's great. It's based on a true story. Um, the payoff is great. I'm, I'm going to try not to actually spoil anything in this video, to tell you the truth. Um, I just want to talk about the actors. I mean, I've always loved Merritt Weaver. And when I say I've always loved Merritt Weaver, um, what I mean by that is I saw her in Godless, and I think that's the only thing I've ever seen her in. And I really loved her then, and I really loved her in Unbelievable as well. But uh, Caitlin Deaver. Her and Tony Collette, uh, they were on a different level than everybody else. The acting across the board was just top notch, but Caitlin Deaver, I mean, it might be the performance of a lifetime from her. She deserves to win something. And Tony Collette as well. Uh, they were just, they were just great. You could, you could, you could, catharsis, man. Like, you could feel it. Like, I get goosebumps, actually. I've got goosebumps right now. Just, uh, and that's a big oven burn that I acquired this morning. But Caitlin Deaver, oh, man. And some people will say that it's slow, that it starts out a little slow. And uh, I might agree with you, but honestly, I was hooked. Like, it was from the first episode. I mean, I, I mentioned it a couple videos ago. I was two episodes in, and I could tell it was a really good show. And it, it was, man. The payoff at the end just the best type of payoff it leaves you somehow feeling good after watching it um like maybe maybe the world isn't so fucked up you know like it's somehow after just showing you how fucked up shit is uh especially i mean it just takes such a turn i feel like once uh you know, they really start to get into the investigation, and it's it's obvious that the new detectives, the that the Merritt Weaver and Tony Collette, like it's obvious that they're they're in it. They're gonna figure it out. Like it becomes obvious that that that's what's gonna happen. Um, I mean, that's what you hope is gonna happen, I guess. And they just they're they give they give you hope, you know. And especially knowing that it's based on a true story, you're like these people actually exist, and it shows. The good cops, and it shows the bad cops, and you know that's, and even sometimes the bad cops aren't even trying to be bad cops; they're just accidentally bad cops, which is what happens in Unbelievable. Um, and you know what I'll say about this show, because it is serious and it is thought-provoking, and it is a little bit of a you know a who done it, like gotta find our man, um, but it's also just. There were some parts that made me chuckle, some parts that made me laugh, and it was just a really well-balanced, well-written show. Just, I, I, you know, I wish there was more of it. Um, obviously, limited series, no need for a season two. They wrap everything up with a nice bow, and I always appreciate that. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. It's a perfect show for today's day and age man with the times up the me too uh it, it's a perfect show for that and you know it's it is a f work of fiction based on a true story so i mean there is some truth to it but those cops man I feel like i almost feel like cops should watch this show like this is an example of how to be a good detective how to be a good cop like just follow through and work every angle and just uh, don't give up, man. Excellent show. Here's my take. Watch Unbelievable. It's really good. The acting is really good. The writing is really good. The story is really good. And it's based on a true story. I'd be curious to know. I haven't done any research on it to see exactly, you know, where it aligns with what actually happened in real life. But I'm, you know... I'd like to think that it happened exactly the way they depicted it in the show, but obviously that's never the case. So. Anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. 
Today's been one of those days for me where I've just been, not that any of you care, uh, you're here to see the review of Unbelievable, which hopefully I've convinced you to watch it, but today has just been one of those days, man, where I've just been, just been stumbling through the day, just stumbling through the day. Fuck my hand up, looks, well, I guess it doesn't look that bad. And then obviously the oven burn, I didn't get any painting done. I did get to see my grandma, which doesn't happen too often. So that was kind of where the day started to turn around, was when I saw my grandma unexpectedly and hung out with her for like an hour. So anyway, uh, wrapping it up. Watch Unbelievable. Take that.